Welcome to the finals of the Meta Place Age of Mythology tournament number 12. This is Noah's in the blue color of playing as Odin. And Ulysses in the red, as predict predicted, has gone Oranos for his first god pick. I think Odin's a good choice here against Oranos, right? Like it's kind of the natural sort of counter. It should be. Uh, I mean, we've definitely seen Oranos win quite a few times. It's if everything goes well for Odin, which on this map, it should be a pretty good map for it, right? Uh, you got a lot of hunts and a lot of closed off areas that you can wall fairly easily, so I agree in general. Uh, it, it's a good counter, but if the yeah. Oranos punches through and hits a heavy heroic timing in your face, then Odin's gonna be in trouble. Yeah, for sure. Okay, we saw the Great Hunt go down. Well, you might have missed it because the map was playing. But the Great Hunt was cast on the giraffes and some piggies there. Yeah, I didn't see the pigs, but I, I saw the giraffe count. Yeah. So it's five pigs. It's not too bad. There's gonna be more coming in, no doubt. I'm stuck making a sneaky house. Wow, our Atlantean player is spamming that auto queue. I'll spamming make sure it's on. <laughs> So, it, would would it be beneficial here to make the two Ulfsark build, or does this not matter on this map, or when when is the general rule of thumb to build two Ulfsark? I would say on a really big map you want it. Oasis, absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, Midgard, you don't need it probably, but you can think about it because of the double docks and like, you, you can make a temple and immediately make a dock after, right? So. I think it's good there. Yeah. Uh, Mediterranean, you don't really need to. So and it, it just leaves the big maps. So you don't think this is a big map? Nah, this is like normal. And we do have Yoshi in the chat, so perhaps he could give his input on Odin as well. Yeah, I would love to see it. <laughs> now here come the ravens, so they can do the rest of the scouting anyway. Yeah, true. You only really want it if you want if you need the pigs and goats. So I would say Oasis is the most important one. It's absolutely de uh, depend on them there. Ghost snake maybe, because that also has like a lot of goats, right? Yeah. What about like a Alfheim, a low hunt Alfheim? Uh, it's small enough that you probably don't need it. I, I often don't see it there. Okay. So mainly, mainly Oasis and Ghost Lake. Got it. Yeah, right. I would I would recommend that, but it, it really depends, right? Because if you're gonna get bullied early, then maybe against Set it's just worth it. On Anatolia, you absolutely need it against Set. That's that's like one of those yeah. uh, situations where you get bullied by the by the animals. Big bully Set. Ooh, so we've got a Perseer over there, standing next to the blue crystal shard relic. Where's our other relic? Uh, haven't been found yet. So it's in the bottom. It's Odin's wand for temple upgrade costs. Ooh. Which is gonna be really good for Norse if they can pick it yeah. up. Yeah. But that's really far away, right? Yeah, I don't think Oranos much cares for it though. No. Because what are you gonna get? You're gonna get your Promethean upgrade and that's it. <laughs> Do you even get the Promethean upgrade? Does anyone get that? With the relic, I'd say so. Yeah. Alright. 
is Nala's looking for a forest fire here. Nothing to forest fire currently because Red is not. Oh, he's on a tree over there. He split up his two wood gatherers anyway, so that's smart. Got the Promethean offspring looking for a little raid on these hunters, but the hearse is not too far away. Oh, he's going the wrong way though. Which way are you going? That's the Valor, or on two Terma, a Citizen, and a uh, Mimillo. Ooh, Valk might die here, 27 hit points. That is rough, the Mermillo is chasing it, so every little move will count. Not also have to run home efficiently, and not get caught at the corner of the map, or by a tree or something like that. Ooh. Oh god, oh god! The sharp turns are never good. Ah, they slow down <laughs> your units. But anyway, we got the composition. It's gonna be raiding cavalry and throwing axemen. So, okay, that's interesting because if we're gonna see uh, Calipatis and Terma, these are gonna be in serious trouble. You predicted like Ulfsark spam, right? And that, I think, that's is, what I thought. Yeah, that's pretty stable, right? It's yeah. It's gonna be able to fight the Mermillo, It's gonna be able to fight the Terma. And you do raiding with it, like. Yeah. You can always disengage when it looks bad. So I, I do like that myself. But so far, I haven't seen a single Ulfsark, except for our Scrailing. No, that's the only one. Yeah, everyone else is running off. But Nullis has done a really good job walling here. But his hunt is pretty safe for now, this last Rhino, and he's got a Lion there might go to but then where is he gonna go then it's gonna get tough I don't think he can go out for the zebra out here still does have one giraffe in base and a few pigs Breaking through the wall, are we gonna see some repair here? Oh, the breeding cavalry are coming in! What a fantastic flag, I didn't even see that coming. Oh, wow. Yeah, that was really nice. Yeah, Eurus is in a little bit of trouble here, and Law is opening up super strong. And now he can just keep going, honestly. He's got forest fire off the back of this. Raiding cap pulling away as well to save its life. He lost one raiding cab, I think, for so many units here. Yeah, look how low these units of reds are. And the Odin player is just gonna slowly, slowly, slowly regenerate when he's out of combat. Ooh, turn around. Oh, that shockwave oh, is gonna man. equalize things, though. Terma do massive, massive damage against throwing axe. Yeah, look at that. Two throwing axe and then an RC go down. Got some skirmishes all over the place, but uh, the main fight has definitely gone uh, in a very equal way now. Only 9 to 7 is the advantage now for, for Nolas, so not much at all. And that's gonna be 9 to 8 right there. Let's check those upgrades real quick. We've got hand axe, hunting dogs, of course. Uh, blue crystal shard for the, for the Norse player. What? Where's the forest fire? It's too far away. I think this whole time he was trying to bait Ulysses closer to this wood line. But Ulysses wasn't falling for the bait. He's a seasoned player. He knows what's up. Now he's wasted this forest fire. Yeah, that's just gonna open up his own base, actually. Yeah. There's a Valkyrie instantly dead, though. Oh, ouch. That was a Val Valkyrie he built as well. Like, So that's like 250 food down the drain. 200, sorry. Yeah, there's more coming in the future, but for now, Ulysses is taking over this game. But no counter aggression. Yeah, there's too many throwing axemen! He's queuing throwing axemen from two barracks here, like... They're slow, obviously the term account to them so easily. I think it's too many, it's too many. Now he's going out to this gold mine and this hunt on this um, left-hand side. But Lysis is already there. Like yeah, he sees this guy. 
he yeah. knows the exact timing that Norse will run out. So 9.30 is like, okay, go time. <laughs> oh, that's massive. Imagine if there was a shockwave here, but he doesn't even need the shockwave. There's nothing to defend these villages. Yeah, the army is trying to get over here, but even once they do, uh, they're going to be outnumbered. The villagers are helping with the kitchen knives, of course. <laughs> But we've got several kills already, like that's up to five, six. Oh, wow. Ah! Oh up God. to eight kills. And this whole time he's had no one on gold, so he can't even sort of replace his army if he loses this fight here. Oh, go back to mining gold, please. Alright, this is gonna end at eight kills, it looks like. Uh, you know, should really just pull out of here. He'll be back with a better army. Or maybe link yeah, up with the rest. This is good enough. Yeah, he's already 30, 40 pop ahead, like, he'll be back in no time. Yeah, look at those Prometheans, such a yeah, good tank for this Prometheans. fight right now. Two coming in from the left, there's two from the right, like, that's so many Promethean. There's no Hersia here to deal. More villagers falling. Oh, this is just brutal at this point, like, we've gotten uh, 13 losses for Norse in just the villager department. He's still not really ahead in the kill to death. And behind this, guess what? USC's made the TC. Yeah, wow. Another Valkyrie comes in. Can she save the day? Maybe with this Raiding Cap taking out the Terma Hero. But for now, she's taking the full brunt of the attack. Finally, the Ox Cart comes through. <laughs> now we've basically got pure villagers on gold. Very inefficient. There's the Valkyrie falling. Wow, now no it's way. Now just throwing Axemen. Pure throwing Axemen here now. Yeah, that's not looking good at all. There's gonna be two hero turma now to finish the turma, uh, the Valkyrie even faster. It's not even a shield maiden, and the upgrade isn't coming. The next hero isn't coming. Pickaxe finally getting research for for Nolis, but it's like you said, it's like half gatherers here. That's not ideal ever. Starting on the other gold mine at the same time, though, that's gonna be useful. Yeah, but his TC is idle. He's not making anything from his TC. Yeah, he can't afford it. Hey. He's not gonna make dwarves. Aye, aye, aye. That does and make Ulysses... sense. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Ulysses is grabbing his third TC now. Ulysses is almost on full citizens as well. Oh my goodness. In 30 seconds, he should be on 25. That's his max. Yeah, as soon as he does, it's just gonna be an age jump right away, because then you no longer spend on citizens and, you know, you, you got all these extra resources to go with. Well, Terma kind of getting caught on the way out, but no big deal. He, they can just run past this. And you know what? That was all just a distraction, so we can go raid on the gold. Oof. That's Oxcart's gonna die. Yep. GG. And so is Norris. <laughs> At least that's the Oranos gone. Yeah, that's definitely the toughest part of this uh, finals here. Dealing with Ulysses' Oranos, yeah. Now Nullus gets to pick his map, so he has an advantage there as well. Yep. Still got Odin, still got Greek, still got his own Oranos. Uh, that said, Ulysses is also good at so many things. We'll see how it goes. Spawning in the blue color here in game two, we have got Nolas, and as Kofuksaki has predicted, it is indeed set. 
And as you almost predicted, we've got Ulysses in the red playing as Poseidon. So not quite the Zeus, but Poseidon instead. Same, but different. Still yeah. same. <laughs> now, unfortunately, his lure is luring in the deer near his second TC there. That's very uh, unfortunate. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, I don't even know if you want to really use it immediately on this map. No, like, probably not, right? There's so much hunt every... It's gonna pull in the nearby hippo now, so... Oh, God. <laughs> I, I guess what you get is you don't need to walk out there, you don't need to make another granary. Um, yeah. Saving a little bit of time, but... Plus, it's the set. Like, if you go out there and you're hunting, the set just shifts on top of you and bye-bye villages. That's true. Yeah, I think, I think, you know, that's actually the stronger argument than the efficiency question. You just want to be safe. Uh, so you get your outer hunt first, you go back home, and then you got all this stuff to enjoy. Nalus has been very lucky that he's found the two elephants and a lion. Oh, that's his lion. The two elephants, at least. Oh, and two more elephants. Oh, that's really big that he's found those. Yeah, you think the priest is going to get those? All four yeah. elephants? That would be sick. Yeah, I'd imagine so. Yeah, I Scout definitely want to eat it. those. Yeah. He's got his he's leaving his lion there as well to protect his priest from any scout aggression, so Oh he's that's good. great. You know what actually might beat the scout nah it's not gonna beat it. But it will tank for a while. You can always get the hyena about. And two yeah. two versus one they should be able to do it. Right, Ulysses is gonna get to close by hippos. Uh, he's actually yeah. taking the hippo as well from the from the lure already. Mm, yep, and the lure is luring in some cranes. Where are the cranes? I haven't revealed the map. I guess they're beyond that TC, that second TC somewhere. Yeah, they're usually around the second TC or the or the pocket ends of these uh, crevices. Mm -hmm. And we've got some relics, of course, the Eye of Horus. That Ooh, is nice one. always so satisfying to get that extra unit out. Unfortunately, the other relic is kind of walled off here by the forest, but not, you can still go in. Uh, it's the blue crystal shard. Maybe not the most like exciting relic, but it Ugh. helps a bit. I do like the Eye of Horus, though. That's like immediate value, really. Mm-hmm. is coming in and from our Greek player we've got Hermes so everything's as expected no shenanigans with the with the Cyclops <laughs> <laughs> yeah Hermes is just comically better it's not even close at least on the land maps uh, on the water map you can kind of go for Ares and get some value out of it yeah, I mean, you're not going to get much Ares value against the Classical Age set. Yep. Alright, is he going to sh- yeah, he's shifting. He's oh. going to take that to see. Oh! Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Who needs walking? AOM's going to be like, what is happening to me? Uh, he, he knows exactly what's happening. He's done this a million times. <laughs> it's not going to be any surprise here. Um, Hermes is coming in, but there's not no one's gonna be stopping this. Oh, maybe don't go out there, holy. <laughs> Whoop, no, he turns around, he sees that, he's like, ah, no. Oh, he's coming back, no. Nah. Yeah, nah. That's a dodge, nice. <laughs> well, we're gonna see a quick feast here, it's just to keep the bills safe. A question in the chat, is animal aggression viable on EE? Uh, kind of. Not with the ones you get spawned for free, like these have terrible DPS. Hyena are actually not too bad, so you know you, you can bully on like water maps, especially if you get a boar. Something like that. Right, the elephant's getting deleted uh, a bit in a hurry, Nolo says. So once again, this is gonna cost him a little bit in terms of uh, food loss to decay. Would like him Look how to fast he's eating it though. Do one by one, but yeah, yeah. Those wheels are going quick. 
Gotta go fast. <laughs> Alright, so what does it, what does Ulysses do here? Like you, you can't really leave your base too much. You can go for the two elephants on the left hand side, and there's two gold mines on that left hand side as well. Plus on the right there's a gold mine as well. So you don't have to go out into the middle, there's actually not a whole lot in the middle. Yeah, look at this uh, double, <laughs> triple gold mine that's kind of backwards mm. from Nolus, so this is like super secure. Just make a simple yeah, wow. wall and you're good. Very nice. And here come more elephants, this is super hot. Alright, has Nolus got his armory going up? Yes he does, that's just about to finish. Alright, so Ulysses is not having any of it. He's just probably gonna go past. See what he can hit in the back. Yeah, he's making he's going double stables with double Hippocon being produced from both of them. And he's picked up his second town center as well. What's he gonna make happen with these cav? Uh another question in the chat, what's the favorite costs? So it's two for the gazelles. Uh, next question is the giraffe, I guess. Uh, that is four. So, you know, it's still pretty viable here. Uh, sorry, Danny, what were you saying? I can't remember. Oh. <laughs> Just reading Peggy's chat about um, Nullis wasted a shifting sands to get a TC that secures sand. <laughs> That's actually pretty funny. <laughs> Uh, the other one wouldn't have been a better choice, right? But Set can... There are these cases where Set can actually go for uh, freaking 4 TC on watering hold against Greek and they can still hold. Uh, it doesn't happen every time, but if you get a Migdol here and you start elephanting this down, that could be the real plan here. Uh, and, and with all this food, food that he transported up, I, I think we might be seeing something like that succeed. Yeah, and how is his favor? He's got oh, he's got 17 favor. Just the one monument, so I was just checking if he could make more food, basically, from his pharaoh here. There's nice walls here as well. Oh, look how he's siphoning these hippocons into the TC and the wadjet fire. Might get a pick off. Yeah, he gets one villager. And his wadjet does die there to the hero. Yeah, but for like two hippocons, this is an yeah. okay trade. I'll take that any day, especially with this villager advantage that's uh, already still at one. And, and that's not accounting for the fact that Greek has like an extra starting bill, right? I mean, obviously, Ulysses had the second TC for a while now, but still, here comes the ancestors. Oh. Oh. Yeah, okay. That was probably. <sighs> yeah. That was the plan, I guess. Uh, now the bills have to make something else. So barracks and siege works coming in. Ceasefire does yeah. block fortresses. Yeah, I don't think Nala should have cast his ancestors here. I mean, I think there was a risk he was gonna like lose this Migdol to these Hippocon. So he had to cast the ancestors to protect that. But then obviously Ulysses gets the double value from this ceasefire. Yeah, like he, he stopped the ancestors and the Migdol. If he doesn't manage to destroy the Migdol, he would cast uh, the seas, right? To stop it, at least. Yeah. But now he can't uh, cancel the ancestors out, so... Yeah. That's wild. You gonna see a bunch of naked spearmen. They're... naked. And that's it. That's all they got. <laughs> yeah, we need more scorpion men up in here. So we need another... Um, monument. Get some scorpion to deal with these cav. Right, the Migdol should go up this time because his building blocked it in safely. But let's see if it stays up. The Hippicons are gonna give it their best. Of course, the Vils could just repair. Yeah, I think the Vils need to pop out and repair. He's building a second Migdol. Oh, no, he's oh. hopping around to repair. Why not both, I guess? Yep. Uh, Pharaoh is a little bit in trouble oh. there. Oh, the piggy, piggy. The pig. <laughs> That's insane. Wait, now I the think we're gonna need up. a camel. Uh, the chariots are coming out the wrong side though. They're running straight into like Red's base, basically. Can they even eject from this bottom side? Maybe there's too many villagers there and they can't eject there. Whatever the rally point is, it's not good. No. 
Okay, so this this repair should be enough. I don't think there's enough here on this Migdol. There's only like three or four Hippocons currently attacking the Migdol. Whatever the case, Ulysses is now suddenly ahead by six villagers and counting eight villagers ahead now. Yeah, this is costing Nullis a lot to hold this position. Or maybe the Migdol will go down. It's gonna go down. Oh, this is crazy. That's such good value for a Greek player. But they'll have to go heroic of their own soon. Uh, it's only so long that you can fight a heroic Egyptian with uh, with just Hippocons. Will we see a third TC from Nullis? Oh, they just going past. Yeah. yeah, he's looking for a raid, I guess. Oh, Nullis looked like he was moving out to do what? To take gold there. Oh, he's gonna build a wall. Yeah, good idea. Fair enough. Oh, getting the last house as well. It's already a market, by the way, but obviously we're really far away from Mythic. Oh yeah, he's nowhere near Mythic. Power eco ups. Um, our blue player, the set player, has hand axe, pickaxe, hunting dog. Red player Ulysses Poseidon has hand axe, pickaxe, hunting dog's husbandry. So nothing sort of out of the ordinary or amazing. Yeah, Ooh, the flowers coming in for the Greek. Ooh. Blue could be in trouble gold wise. He's going to have to keep moving his villagers around to get away from these Hippocon. Needs another wall here, probably, in front of this gold mine on the bottom here. Hey, Nola's coming in with the special tactics, by the way. <laughs> Mining out uh, Ulysses' oh. gold mine <laughs> on the side. Wow, that's definitely special. Adapt that will work. Like it will be discovered. Okay, here comes the siege tower. Finally, yeah. something to hurt these buildings. But it is a Poseidon. Every building you take down, you're dealing with two, three militia. Don't take those chariots too far. Oh man! Imagine if these chariots find that gold mine on the right-hand side here. Oh, that would be sick. There's so many villas there. Yeah. But I don't think that Ulysses can actually defend it. There's not enough units. Oh, he's pulling back for the militia. Yeah, no. Oh, wait, the Hippocon flag. That yeah. is actually sick. I think he's grouped them up with the siege towers as well. Look how slow they are. He needs to ungroup those units. Aye, aye, aye. The tower Let even carry. helping out, by the way. So that is a fantastic timing to upgrade that. A little damage, but whatever. Okay, the chariots do find a really good spot, but Aphrodite is Ooh, in. Cursed. They're hurt! Oh. Oh, no. I thought we were going to see like an instant garrison with those chariots, but no. I'm sorry, was that 10 pigs? <laughs> That's all chariots right there. Yeah, wow. That was 100% of the army. That is 10 pigs. Each towers. Alright, this is going to be hard for Nulls to defend now, I think. Now that the Greek player is up heroic. I'm, I'm just here gasping at the 10 pick still. <laughs> <laughs> that is so much value. So we're talking about a thousand wood and uh, 400 gold. Wow. Yeah, that's a really Gone. nice wood for power use. Oh, there's a big raid possibly coming down in the middle of the map here. Give me a line, five Hippicon versus Scorpion Man and some juicy villagers. I don't know about that budget chimera chasing the, the villagers. It kind of keeps getting stuck in the horses. <laughs> All right. Nullis resuming his push into Ulysses' base here, though. It's doing a lot better this time because Ulysses is not here to defend. He's going off to kill a tower. Yeah, the special operation is also building up on the left side. The gold mine is... Uh, a thousand is gone. He's building up barracks, probably siege tower soon, but uh, Ulysses with the fortress, is he building up a patrol boss angle? It's from where? From the side, it's really yeah. weird. It's so far away, yeah. right? Yeah. Well, we've got four spawning militia from the temple. 
Uh, they'll be able to take down the sea showers, no problem, especially with all this cab around. Yeah, you gotta keep your chariots here to deal with these militia. Oh, but the gold mine. Chariots on the gold mine. Okay, I forgive him. I forgive him. Artemis! <gasps> Did uh -oh. we even see that happening? Oh my goodness. We, we won't. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we won't. We did not see that happening. Neither did Nullis. He wasn't ready. That's not enough stuff to soak it. So, no. Nope, absolutely not. No upgrades. No fortified TC. Nothing. Uh, rip. UNC is going up 2 0 in this series. Only needs to win one more uh, to take the finals. What was the KD here? It's actually in favor of Nullis somehow. But I doubt it was value wise. Does the curse count towards that? I yeah, maybe, not. maybe not. It's a convert, no. right? Yeah, it's not a kill. It is game free. Nolas, this guy cannot lose again, so give him your energy in the Twitch chat. If you're on YouTube, then you are too late. This is Nolas playing as four. And in the red corner, Ulysses has picked Zeus this time. I think this is gonna be hard for Nolas. It's not the easy matchup, that's for sure. However, the good news is there are a lot of gold mines around. So there's a large gold mine right in the main base. Good luck gold blocking this, uh, especially if it's built up on with walls, towers. Yeah, I mean, it's got two towers securing the big one, so I I'm not too worried for him. Yeah, this is a really nice spawn in that regard. But uh, Greek has it too. So you can go late game. Uh, Zeus doesn't really care if you survive the mid game. Of course, in Heroic, 4 has a real power spike that Zeus is a little bit scared of, but if you make it to the Ragnarok stage, Zeus should be stable here. What about the hunt though? Like, what, is, what does the Thor do against the centaurs here with the hunt? Oh, really you're predicting off. centaurs. Okay, uh, mm -hmm. that could be a really good way to play this because four is a little bit like Odin, right? You just get pick sticker and then you have Odin at home. Uh, <laughs> it's already done, so the villagers will be sniping those animals easy peasy, hunting just as fast as tour villagers. So this is great. They'll be all over the map, right? Like the hunt is pretty spread out. There, uh, none of it is close to your main base after you. Hunt the initial patch. So yeah, centaurs might be a good idea. And four will be struggling against that. So let's see if that's what Ulysses thinks as well. As for what you do, I think at some point you just gotta get those Valkyries upgraded. And those can kind of chase them down. In the meantime, you got hers here. Yeah. Yeah, I mean the hers here are definitely only a short-term solution, aren't they? With how slow they are. The Valkyrie, yeah, okay. If you can get enough of them out. Yeah, it's not easy, but when you have this many uh, hunt hunting spots, it should be doable. Also, good news, there's four relics on Marsh. Let's see what they have to offer. We got Harmonious Necklace, so quicker gold gather rate. Great for four. Cold yeah, that's nice. Horus, he also needs that. Yeah, I think so too. That would be really big for him. Arrows of the Alpha could also be useful actually, like, you need that tower upgrade if you if it's an Athena build. And lastly, Eye of Only for the Throwing Axeman. This is great relics for Norse. I really think you want to pick those up if you're Nullis. Let's see how many he has found. So he only knows about the one uh, up here in the edge of the Fogo 4. I actually can't see it on the minimap because it kind of doesn't register the icon. It's Harmonious Necklace that he can see. That's it. Yeah, he hasn't been able to do anywhere as near a bigger scout as the Zeus has with his Catoscopus. Yeah, look at that. 
most of the map is revealed. Found two of the relics and no doubt uh, Jason will be heading out for one uh, right after Athena hits. So at least it's not Hermes. Oh, it uh, is Athena. Yeah, yeah. I, I guess it's all because he thinks the goat situation isn't going to be that hot for for Nullis. But in fact, it's super hot. So... <laughs> Yeah, that bad gold mine is is super great, and actually the Zeus player has even more secure back gold mines than uh, than Nolus does. So yeah, this game should go late, uh, is my thinking. If somehow you can bust through, then great. Yeah, wow! Look at that um, gold mine behind Ulysses' second TC. My goodness. Right, here comes the Kopesh of Horus relic for Nolus, and he also gets the Harmonious Necklace. So this is a pretty good start for him. Jason ignores the relics, it seems. Well, that's a good start. Yeah, these relics could really swing, especially like early fights and stuff for Nolus here. Yeah, you can take down the Minotaur with this. Uh, you know, Valkyrie looking for something to raid. The Vills have to be pulled back at this rate because they're totally not secured. An instant watchtower upgrade as well for Nullus, wall chipping this tower here. Uh oh, uh oh. Move, yes. Yeah, the Minotaur can actually one shot the worker, so you gotta move ASAP. Uh, it's something that Boobly doesn't have, actually. They don't one shot in Boobly? Uh, they can't use their special on villagers at all. Ah. But yeah, forces a little bit of respect on the unit. Uh, still, if you pull away, they're not gonna be able to get it off at all. Funnily enough, the Valkyrie isn't getting bolted. What's going on with this? Oh my goodness. There we go. A little too late for that. Oh yeah, Watchtower is done like you said, and it should guard the the gold just fine. However, the Ulfsark is going to get caught. Walk through the wall though. Is it going to get away at... No way. No, he ran back in. <laughs> Oh no. Okay, blue pushed off hunt though. I guess he's still got these two deer on the uh, bottom side that he could go back to now. Just rotate around his base, but annoying. Right, so that house is gonna get taken down right away. And it looks like the tower is gonna be next. The monitor can reach it from the corner. <laughs> I want to see this Hersier get around and deal with that Minotaur. The archers, like, the archers are almost dead, so this, this Hersier could get in on this Minotaur and finish him. That tower is gone now. Yeah, I'm not sure this was worth for the Greek player, honestly. Uh, looks like a lot of units are getting picked off, or getting very low at least. Uh, restoration is going to be pretty important. You can always just put your hero in passive stance, maybe the Minotaur as well, and they'll receive 10 times the healing. So that mm. is nothing to scoff at. Very important little micro move. Oh, well, second this is just Second to second TC, oh wow. Lysis has put his catastrophic scout in um, patrol mode on those two hippopotamuses over there as well. <laughs> to keep his eye on them. Yeah, really not nice bad. Play. Actually, Nolos will be going right there. Yep. I also really She's like that he got the Hippocrates hero, so... Jason's gonna get healed up. Oh, he's healing. Nice. Supposedly everyone's gonna get healed up. Scout finds out what's going on, but there's too many throwing eggs to attack. Uh, especially with that TC getting bought, right? So that's super expensive. I think Nolus is gonna go to the heroic cage thanks to this. Oh, he's housed? He's housed. Uh oh. No, Nolus. Well, at least he can shoot up a house in two seconds, so. <laughs> there it is. An armory coming in, he can make more houses at the same time. Might as well just make them in advance. At this point. Yeah, game's going quite peaceful now. 
But there goes the heroic age for Nullus. It's gonna be Scotty, of course. You can freeze that restoration. Should be pretty good. Yeah, it doesn't look like Ulysses is looking to go um, heroic anytime soon. He's healed his army back up. He's still producing units. He's on two, two TCs, so he's just gonna look to pressure. has got what four pigs in base that he's currently eating from and then it's gonna be tough Ooh. tons of villagers getting picked oh, off no. okay 90% on Scardi Well, it's in, but the tower is going to get smashed up. Still a lot of gold left, though, for Nullis, so I think he's done really good to uh, to harvest from the large gold mine. There's extra minotaurs for our Greek player. They are bull minotaurs, excuse me, oh, so wow. that's pretty healthy boys right there. But <laughs> I think it's time to stop because there's going to be uh, frost giants. That's too much. They are even healthier boys. How much do Frost Giants? 200 gold and 22 favor. He's got the favor for it, doesn't quite have the uh, gold for it yet. But he's got a lot of dwarves working here. He's going for Huskars. Nice unit to have when you're pretty low on food. Oh yeah, for sure. Same for the throwing axe. Like, yeah. Huskar throwing axe and even Boxfiger, I think, would be a great addition to this. Yeah. Nolas said earlier that he wants to try them out. I think this is his chance. He like should definitely. Up against a classical yeah. Greek? Like, what yeah. are they gonna do about bogs? They are so strong. Alright, Ulysses should be clicking up any second now. He's got the food, he's got the gold. Has he got the armory? Yeah, Looks has like he got it. the armory? Uh, this is what? I'm confused about that oh. one. But it might work. Bronze. Maybe he thinks that Nullis is going for Bogsweiger and he's picking up bronze for that. Maybe. Alright. Blue moving out to these Oryx or Water Buffalo, sorry. Let's see if he can actually. Ooh, uh. Oh, the frost! He frosts some villagers on the hunt as well. Okay, let's see what he can make happen here. Oh, he's yeah, going for the wall. That's yeah. smart. That's very smart. Although Zeus should be able to punch through it, but. Yeah. Not before losing a few units. The mine though making a lot of noise. <laughs> they will go down, I think. Will's have been pushed away. This is in, and we should be seeing the bronze on these units very shortly, as well as the restoration right away. Uh, the bronze didn't work. What? Why not? They he were frozen. Oh, they were still frozen. He did it too soon. So he got a few. He got like. Oh, this is absolute garbage. Oh no! Too soon. No, you can't and bronze. Fro minotaur. Get in there, Nellis. Kill it. You cannot bronze. Oh, you're still frozen. Oh my god. Oh, you can too soon. Sad to see. But yeah, this we is something you can do on Dubly, right? So you can't do it here. Ah. Just a bad habit. Yeah, and that's because what frosted units with bronze retained their armor stats, right? When they became unbronzed or something like that. Like there was some yeah. Uh, little bug. I actually believe they kept 99% armor or something. <laughs> uh, there was an exploit for that too. So, you know, it's definitely a good change, but the players need to be aware of this. And yeah, sure. I think that's a good as, the, of, as good a lesson as any for Ulysses. He'll never do this again. <laughs> Hopefully not. 
Hydra stays alive through this though. Good god. And there's still a Minotaur alive. Oof. Oh, there's two more Frost Giants though. Why are they not in the fight? Get them here. Get them forward. Now Canaria is coming in. I mean, our Greek player still has a fairly good chance being on 2TC and up uh, 71 villagers to 44. This is not looking too bad still. Uh, just gotta be a little careful, right? That's all. Yeah, don't throw away too many units because you're gonna have a harder time replacing them. Now Greek has got a shitload of idols. He just finished up some hunt. Yeah, having to pull home now. There's, there's still some hunts to take nearby, so. Mm, yeah, you just not all bad. This. See if these throwing axemen can get any raids happening. It's <laughs> not the ideal unit to raid with, but maybe the huskars could go find these people, these villages on this crocodile up here or something. Well, well, well. Hydra just about stays alive. There's now three Greek heroes. So if there was ever a time to strike, it's now. Would love to see some Hippos to set up the hoplites though. Those are really not getting anything done. No. But I think even Hippaspis here would not be able to get much done. Yeah, I think I agree. Uh, unfortunately, the heroes were fighting throwing axemen rather than the frost giants. Yep, so all three Frosties are still alive, plus they've got the upgrade, the Rhyme. So, yeah, kind of scary here. But Nullas probably needs a bit more Siege in this unit composition. <laughs> Look at these throwing Axemen, like this is just pathetic, fighting a building. Yeah, it takes them forever, right? It's never gonna end. Uh, you will need to build something new back home. Uh, these buildings are pretty much worth it. Of course, the TC won't be pushed, so there's still opportunity to build up. Yeah, definitely. And because it's taking Nulla so long to get through these, to kill these buildings off, it just gives Ulysses more time to build back up and prepare. Nulla needs to get something else happening here, Mythic or an XTC. Oh, he is Mythic, sorry. He's going up to 75%. Oh, really? Uh huh. And gonna go up against the Hera pick here. There's not a okay. lot of units back home for, for Ulysses, so this might be a really good time for Nolos to strike at the same time as the Wolves. Kinda like it. There are also bronze shields and bronze mail already for the Norse army. Okay, okay here come the Wolves. See where they spawn. Where have they spawned? They spawned in the main base there. And also on the second TC there, which is really nice, forcing a lot of idle time. Man, look how many villagers are on this wood line over on the bottom side. 25 villagers? Ugh. Oh, we're seeing like 10 plus villager kills here. Oh, wow. Ulysses was on 80 villagers when they started. He's on 68 now. Wow, wow, wow. Was that in the main base that happened? Where was the majority of kills there? Uh, both sides actually. So the villagers just wow. got stuck trying to oh, get wow. in the TC, but yeah, they are eating it now. Anyways, uh, 68 villagers still not terrible, but uh, not as good as he would have hoped. Another emergency temple is coming up, just in case he needs it. I think uh, Nolos is smelling that that's gonna be happening. Uh, the Mythic Age jump, is that gonna be yeah. actually in time? I'm oh, pulling the extra bills. Okay, it's fine. It's yeah, fine. it should be fine. And that one Medusa, that'll help thin these numbers out a bit, especially if he can micro it, pull it back. Not lose it straight away like they often do. There it is. Yeah. Oh, the Lightning Storm is nullifying. Oh my <laughs> god. Look at that. It's carnage. 89, wait, 97 pop. Oh, and then he loses a Frost Giant behind it with the Medusa. Oh, that was brutal. Okay, that's like the one Lightning Storm that really paid for itself. Uh, also, Ulysses is immediately going to make a Bellarophon. Yeah, good choice. There's a lot to cap capitalize here with. Probably doesn't need the six praying villagers. Uh, important <laughs> to reshuffle that very soon. Medusa getting oh a God. second attack off. No. Might get a third, actually. Ah, uh, frozen. 
Okay, that's but Bellerophon's about to pop out. That's all these myth units could be going down. There's a Bellerophon and a Odysseus there. Oh, where's Bellerophon going? Going for a little walk. Oh no. Where are you going? Jump wasted on human units. Oh no. To be fair, on EE, it recharges in five seconds, so. You can pounce, it's just weaker than on Bibli uh, for the damage. Okay. Overall, still better if you micro. Nullis is going 3 TC behind this as well. He's picking up 2 TCs, two TCs simultaneously. It's wow. Ballsy. Ballsy, ballsy, ballsy. <laughs> So, so uh, walling up the golden mines, very nice. I like love to see the longhouses on there. So yeah, even nice. if it gets harassed, you just make some units. Yeah, so where is um, Ulysses' main gold mine? He's still got that one back there, that super safe one. The 2k gold in it. Yeah, but the Lorfren is still going, should be able to end the life of another Frost Giant. Would love to see some kind of healing for him. Uh, has to be Hippocrates, says Temple of Healing is not available now, but the DNS is pick. Nope. Olympic parentage wouldn't be the worst, but can't afford it right now. He also that does is... have... Yep, go on. Night Prayers! Yeah, but he's got Medusas on auto queue. Oh, they are so expensive at 28 favor. But worth it, right? If you can pick off two Frost Giants with one Medusa, that's, that's nice. Like. Yeah, I think they become good after you get the Matriarch upgrade. But before that, they have like prophetic health, so. <laughs> oh, but Lorfin goes down. Got the Yarls, they might be focusing down this Medusa. And maybe she can get the Frost Giant still. Aw, oh, using it on human units. But stays alive at least. How are armory ups going? Ooh, iron shields for Nullus and bronze mail, bronze uh -oh. weapons. A red player, nothing, nada. Iron Fucking mail Nala now. Oh no. How is Nala squeezed in all these armory ups? Straight from the iron mail then. We've got Myrmidons, but they're not going to be able to stand against those throwing axe. Medusa is doing work though, grabbing another frost giant, great. TC and towers doing the work, and we've got a fortress coming up. Yeah, I kind of want to see some ballista behind all this. Yep, mass ballista oh. now. That would be really sweet. Uh, we've yeah. got Nolas on 63 villagers still. He's not training any, is he? The new TCs are actually only one of them is working. Uh, oh, yeah. So that's two out of three. But he's got a nice, sizable army. The Medusa Micro is really on, on point, actually. So he only lost one Medusa the whole game. They're really building up the value. Yeah, getting good value. I mean, that's what you were complaining about in a previous game, right? That some Supremacy players throw away their Medusa. They're like, oh, I'll get one kill, that's good enough. Yeah, it's they can do so much more, but to be fair, in this case, like the Yaws can dive them. Uh, that could be rough. Can't do much about that. Yeah, that's one lady going down, two ladies going down, possibly. Uh, yep. They rattle for they can't scream. <laughs> Used a special, but it was on a human unit again, I think. Oh man, come on, where's the ballista? These buildings. Causing so much path blocking. Yeah, oh, the gold mines run out! Oh. Oh, and he's trying to make a move on this gold mine, which Nullis put that It's uh, not there anymore. Uh, <laughs> this is how you avoid rays, you just aren't there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so where's he getting gold right now? Oh, that gold mine right next to the fortress. That's his only gold mine. This is Nullis' win condition. Come on, get some Ballista! I just want to see Ballista hitting these villagers, like... Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> or even Bogsweiger or something, like, behind all this. I guess he's doing okay. Wait, do we have Bravery? We don't have Bravery, but we've got, like, full armory upgrades, dragon scale shields wow. now. Wow, wow, wow. Zero nice. gold for Ulysses. Oh! 
GG. We've got ourselves a series. No one's taking a game. Nice. Very nice. Yeah, yeah, Ulysses must pick a map. It's, uh, it's how it be. they are doing that it's gonna be a good old Zeus mirror AOM itself is spawning in the left side of the map and on the right side we've got Nala spawning yeah I mean okay this is a Zeus map uh, why is it such a Zeus map do you want to talk about that a little bit for per perhaps a newer viewers? Uh, yeah, you can go ahead. <laughs> right, so Greek ships, they have a little bit of extra range, right? Uh, that is definitely a very nice bonus. Uh, the two Greek heroes from Zeus are a little bit healthier. So what you do with those is you go across the map and you start to bully the other person's villagers. That is not an easy thing to defend against. You gotta get the gold mine, and as you can see, right now this gold mine is happening to spawn in a way that is not protected by towers. That is a super rough position. You also go Athena, which is gonna give you a Minotaur, also helping your little he hero hit squad. Then you've got the Greek ships with extra two range, uh, adding a lot to your ability to keep them safe. If they're hurt, you pull them back a bit, uh, they'll come back then to add their DPS back into the fold. Then you've got restoration, so you heal those hurt ships back up once you got like a bunch. Um, usually when, when you build up your population count a bit. What else is great about Zeus? The infantry bolt. transition. So much good stuff, right? Yep. Yeah, the bolt as well, so if you're getting harassed oh, yeah. by the opponent with their myth unit, you bam, they're dead. Exactly. So yeah, you, you got all this food from the sea, you're gonna use it on your hoplites later on, and they can take down buildings and stuff. So yeah, uh, Zeus is just yep. so good. You've got, also you've got Apollo if you want on this map, the underworld can be super useful for getting around. Yeah, oh, the rush distance awesome. is so big because you have to go around this giant body of water. You can mm -hmm. use transport ships, but I mean, nothing's quicker than instant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Rarely see transport ships on this, hey. Some real commentary here. Ooh, there's a building pierce damage relic here. That's actually really useful for garrisoned fishing boats in docks, right? Like very. And the other nice one is relic. good too. It's Banquet of Empress Zoe for crush resist. Uh, so long term, that is going to be nice in the Zeus mirror, because you're obviously going to see Helipolis uh, as we enter the Mythic Age. Now, granted, all this stuff that I said about Zeus, Poseidon can do similarly well, Hades can do similarly well. Uh, it just ends up being a difference of, oh, I'm, I'm going Cyclops, uh, or my archers are better. I make Cav. <laughs> Plus maybe it's the Zeus favor gather rate as well that helps. Yes. So when you go mythic and you have access to Colossus, uh, that's gonna be a huge role. So every every Geatrice has a slightly different area of specialization, uh, but they that they share the core benefits. Poseidon doesn't have restoration, though. That's that's actually a big one. Um yeah. I'm actually not super sure why people love to pick Poseidon on this map, but you get the Militia, and if it goes late, then the Militia play a huge role too. Yeah, they're a real pain. We'll have to ask Matreus what, what he thinks about Poseidon and why it's so strong. 
yeah, I mean, we know that Poseidon is obviously great on the land maps. I'm just not seeing the benefit over Zeus. Maybe he just wants to keep Zeus for a land map when he picks Poseidon on, on Medit. Can't really explain it. If someone knows yeah. in the chat, uh, maybe we got another Poseidon gamer, then you can comment. Alright, so how are our builds looking? They're pretty much identical. We've got 11 on wood, 6 or 7 on gold. And I think... Has Blue still got one on food? No. Alright, 3 triremes from Blue, 4 from Nullus. Okay, yeah, they're all even in numbers now. Yes. Four to four. Nullus has an extra fishing ship. Insane. Yeah, this is gonna be a very mirrored mirror matchup. My is gonna get bolted, of course. That is super standard. Uh, Nullus still has his one. But I'm not sure where it is. It's up in the top corner for some reason. <laughs> oh. Hello there. That might be a trireme pickoff. No, no, pulling back. Oh, he's still. Oh, he's got. No, I think he's going to lose a trireme there. That might be the first. Was that the first trireme to die? Yes. So that's. Norris has lost two units. One to the bolt. Sorry, uh, no, two, two shifts have been lost, I think. Oh, okay. Missed one. Yeah, Ulysses is only up on one. He must have lost something else. I don't know. Oh, here's the Minotaur on the wood line. Has he not bolt? noticed it? Uh, no bolt is gonna happen. That's a kill. Oh Might get a second God. one. No. Oh, there he goes. Damn. That's a good kill. Yeah, that's really good value, like, <laughs> against a Zeus who hasn't used his bolt. Um, In the middle of that, though, Red did use his restoration, but I don't think he got much value out of it. No, he's a little bit ahead in the ship game now, but for how long, really? I mean, Ulysses has a restoration too. Could use it yeah. any time, really. There it is. Hello. And he'll pick up a ship on the on the way out there. Retribution. Still down the ship, though. But he's they all feel help. Nobody made heroes. That's very strange. Uh, how are we doing for the upgrades? So hand axe and hand axe, right? Yeah. Yep. Standard, standard. Kind of don't want to get pickaxe for a while. Um, it's much better when you get it in a row with uh, with shaft mine. The animations just don't really help with that uh, specific gather speed. Right. Okay. Hand axe is great though. That one you can actually feel the benefit from. Very much. Okay. Right, um, Red making his third dock here. But he seems to be pushed back really far here as well. He's having to garrison about six of his fishing ships at the moment. So that's six idle fishing ships. But this third dock might turn the tide. Ooh, did he just buy something? Is he going out to take a TC? His wood just went suddenly down. Uh, there are no... There's no fur dog, so... Yeah, yeah, there it is. So he went three dogs and a TC. He's just looking to defend on water, isn't he? Like, he's made these three dogs. So he can defend for longer, I guess, while he That's takes great. a TC. But now yes, he's down his ship so much, yeah, so... Yeah, he's... Yeah. The water is lost, so the TC has to make up for the fact that fishing ships are not gathering yeah. anymore. Ouch. Meanwhile, Ulysses can just stop making triremes and make fishing ships. And that's better than yeah. the TC. Yeah, for sure. And then Ulysses, in like 30 seconds, can go grab his own TC, like, because he stopped making the triremes. Oh, yeah. Almost ready to go right now, actually. So, okay, there will be... There will be villagers coming out of, of Nullis, but... 
<laughs> Meanwhile, Ulysses just making his villi villagers from the from for the sea. No ship production left for Nomus at all. In fact, he hasn't started production from his second TC. Oh, oh no. no. Oh no. Come on, Nullus. That could spell the end if he doesn't notice. Because now, has... here is Ulysses also doing his TC, right? And he's he's spamming those fishing ships. And Nullus is going for a third TC here. No way. But he hasn't even made his heroes yet. And Ulysses has got heroes, like, pushing him off the hunt. Now he's doing a farm transition? <laughs> Three TCs, no hunt, no heroes. That's <laughs> Oh no, he's gonna lose a villager here, possibly. Ooh. Oh my god. Where are your heroes? Okay, he's making one now. Still single bill production, I'm afraid. Still single bill production. Oh yeah, because he's making the heroes from his main TC now. Okay, he started bills there. Oh really? Okay, good. Well, so did Ulysses and he's slaughtering all these fishing ships. Oh yeah, can can Nullus even produce from three TCs when he's making farms? If he has he's... like plow, then maybe. He does not have plow. Nope. Alright, so he can do a cycle and that's it. Julius is following very closely. He's got 17 fishing ships, all of them with per scene, of course. Wow. That's 30% extra gather rate. Let's compare to the villagers. So there's a lot of them right next to the shoreline, right? So that, those are great gather speeds. 0 0.69 on that. If he was hunting, that would be 0 0.85. So this is a very close... Uh, number of course that's without hunting dogs and whatever but you know you can you can make these for wood it's it's so good still gonna be better than farming by a lot so here's a farming gatherer 0 0.69 mm. those fishing ships that's, are oh. more efficient than the basic farming that's for sure oh wait is that a plow no that's yeah, 0 0.76 okay that's slightly better that'll make up for it a bit but uh I don't know why he went the, the, the third dock and that second TC and stopped making triarium production. Like, why did he give up on water so easily? Oh, I'm so sorry. We've had the player switched in color this whole time. Oh. <laughs> Sometimes I just don't realize. I'm so sorry. I can see how that's confusing. Sorry, fixed. Unfortunately, it depends on who's hosting, so sometimes they switch it. Anyway, we've got a really nice land army coming in from Ulysses. Yep. If he builds up those numbers a little bit more, like 10 hoplites, I think you just go out into the TC and do the fighting. Yeah. Nullus doesn't even have, like, he's got one archery range on that side, nothing else. He's building an archery range and a barracks on the other side, but that's not enough production. Where are these hoplites and these tops going? Okay, so it looks like he's pressuring this gold mine, which just ran out, so... But where's the next gold mine that Nullis is gonna go to? He can't go to that one on that shore shoreline, like... Triremes will just eat them up. Honestly, none of them are really safe. No. There's no good choice. <laughs> he's getting sieged by these mass hoplites and they are hungry. I'll take the spoils from the houses oh first. God. He's on 145 pot. He's almost gonna be going heroic. Three TCs, all these fishing ships, he's got an army, like, this is unstoppable. Where are the units for Nolos? That's the big question, really. He's got so many resources. You can't be trying to go freaking heroic age now. You gotta match his army first. Yeah. Uh, Ulysses is going heroic. He, he don't care. Queued up right yeah. after the will pops out. Yeah, it's a natu natural trend. Uh, natural what? Something when you've got all these fishing ships. Oh yeah, how many? Went up to 18 and stopped there. So that's like almost the entire sea occupied. 
I would like to see some more docks getting made on the side. They are done. Um, so yeah, nothing to add. Carry on, Ulysses. Uh. Nullis is just using losing units needlessly here. Medium hoplites shredding through these buildings. Buildings never had a chance. There's Apollo, so we can just keep switching between the two gold mines here, or the two bases. You, I think we're going to see Apollo, uh, the underworld being cast on this. Yep, on that gold oh, mine. Oh, hello there. there. Yep. Oh, DJ that's the game. How many tournaments has Ulysses won in a row? That guy is insane. I'm gonna check it right now so even the YouTube people will find out. Uh, so, this season he has actually not won the last tournament, sorry. Oh, he did, he did win the last tournament. And last season he's won another one. Yeah, he won three tournaments in a row. And this is number four in a row. Oh my goodness. Yep. He's swimming in money. Literally. When he's done swimming in the Mediterranean, he's swimming in money after every time. Outgathered Nullus, outkilled Nullus, outtacked Nullus, everything went in his favor in the end. And yeah, that underworld was just really the nail in the coffin. Great job. We want to thank our MetaPlace website subscribers. Your contribution helps us keep the project sustainable. As we reach higher subscription goals, you are helping us cover more and more behind-the-scenes costs, such as video editing. Check out our subscription page using the link in the description, and remember to collect your perks. We will see you the next time.